you doing well? Are you taking your time? Do you carry your heart? Heavy as mine. Are you walking the long road? Or trying to fly? Oh, I always thought you'd be the one by my side. Hello, my stars. Welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It's your girl, Karen, and she is back with another one. How are my stars doing? How did the full moon in Scorpio treat you? That peak energy, which is about intensity, sexiness, your sacral chakra should have been all the way wide open. Bust a wide open, bust a wide. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, though. But your, your energy should have been... A little bit more uplifted with this energy because it's about facing things but also to letting things go with this energy some of you may have experienced some secrets that have been revealed or you will experience some secrets that needs to be revealed or maybe you were the one who ne felt like you needed to reveal something that you are not expressing in situations so this moon could have came with some strong intensity for aquarius for some of you here, focusing on your finances was very, very heavy for you at the peak of the moon, or this is the energy that you are still in at this time, right? So we're going to dive into the reading and see what messages is meant for you to hear at this time. So the song that came to me was, I'd Rather Be With You In All Your Bullshit by Jaquise. So I don't know who this is for or who is... In this energy, honey, but it is saying very heavily here that someone feels like they rather be with you and everything that comes with you. They don't care if the energy is about fuckery, you know what I mean? Or, you know, this person got a couple red flags. It's like, you know what? I'd rather be with you and everything that comes with you at this point in time in my life. Like, I just don't see anyone else. I don't see anyone else comparing to you okay so we're gonna get into all these energies that is flowing through so let's get into it if you are new to the channel welcome 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 i appreciate each and every one of my stars on the channel i love you all and yes go ahead and subscribe like comment down below channel the energy with your girl and let's tap 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 in let's see what's going on with aquarius in the energy I had to play the song in the background so some of you may hear it, but yeah. Someone is highly feeling like they'd rather be with you and everything you come with. Or this, maybe Aquarius, this is how you feel, okay? This is for my cross watchers, but it's definitely giving that vibe. But let's see what messages, right? So this is going to be whatever comes through, whatever you're meant to hear. But I got to relieve this message, the messages as they come through, right? Or release the messages as they come through. That's what I meant to say. Let's see. Thank you. So we have the wolf. The wolf. Okay. We also had this card come out. Okay. In a pre-shuffle. So I feel like it's meant to be here. Because now it's showing up at the bottom of the deck. Let's get one more. And then we got the hands of fate. Okay. So Aquarius. Let's see what's going on here. So this energy, Aquarius, is about being very careful of the people you call friends, the people you call family, the people who you say you trust in your life, okay? Uh, not everyone is meant to be in your energy. Not everyone you are meant to trust at the end of the day. There could be someone that is a wolf in sheep's clothing uh, surrounding you, Aquarius, so be very mindful of that energy at this time, because keep in mind, the full moon in Scorpio to this pink moon is also too about releasing and letting things go that don't have anything to serve, serve you or help you in any way, shape or form. Full moons are all about new beginnings, starting a whole new cycle. So just be very careful of who you trust in your life, Aquarius. We also have a wind, winds of change. So Aquarius, this is about undergoing some strong transitions in your life. It's about being prepared to adapt to 
the different things that is happening around you. And it's saying what is taking place here is fate. It's destined to be. The message that you are receiving is new opportunities or justice prevailing here. It could be in your favor as well, but definitely about fate and destiny, things happening here for you that is meant to be the forces beyond your control is intervening in a situation here for you, Aquarius, okay? So let's see what else comes through. Hey, Google, stop. All right, let's see. Let's see what else comes through. What is the message here for Aquarius? What is the message you have for Aquarius? Thank you. Let's see what that is. All right, so we have the heart. Hmm, why is the heart here? Let's see. Give me one or two more from this deck. Let's see what's going on. What's the message for Aquarius? All right, thank you, the partner. Hmm. The heart and the partner. And this is what I was telling you, Aquarius. It's like, I, as you guys know, I be getting these multiple messages sometimes, and this was one. This is that time. All right, but it's definitely about someone caring, and it's someone that you connect with in some way, shape, or form. Aquarius is the message. So I'm getting a couple of different messages here, and then we got the sun. Okay, bottom of the deck though is the stork. All right, so let's get into these energies so far and see what is going on. So Aquarius, I feel like someone here that you truly care about, this is about love, romance, um, emotional security in some way, shape or form. And it's involving your person, the person that you have on your mind. Um, if it was the quarant, it would be you. But this is definitely about someone that you are connecting with on some form of level. Um, it definitely good vibes and good energy. Like I was saying here, this sun energy means happiness, success, like a positive outcome in a situation. And the stork energy is about transition. This means movement. Like something is happening here that maybe even you don't even know about, right? Because this energy can also represent like entering a new phase of a situation or a new point in your life is what the message is. So there's definitely some undergoing layers or things happening here around you, Aquarius. And someone here could also be involved in the situation that is a wolf in sheep's clothing at the end of the day. But we're going to dive a little bit deeper because this reading, like I said, it was just very intense as far as like the energies that was coming through very heavily um, for me. So let's see what's going on. What's the message here for Aquarius? What is it that Aquarius needs to know? Actually, I'm being told to use this deck. Okay, all right, my bad. Let's see, what's the message here for Aquarius? All right, what is hidden? What's the message for Aquarius? What is hidden? Let me change your cards in this deck. What does Aquarius need to know about the partner? What's going on? What's the message here for Aquarius? Okay, let's see. We have beginnings, chemistry, exhaustion, and confessions. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel like there's going to be a fresh start in a situation. This is not everyone, but this is for some of you. Um, the message that I'm getting is wanting to start over, right? And I feel like this is someone that you have very strong chemistry with. You guys connect. There's a spark in this relationship and situation between the two of you. I feel like things just became overwhelming in the situation is what I'm feeling, like some things could have happened or transpired here and it just made the relationship very heavy, right? For some of you here, it could have been a long distance, excuse me, a long distance relationship and you may have felt like this is just not gonna work due to that situation. Um, I feel like for some of you here, you may have even felt like this relationship was just depleting your energy, like running your cup dry, right? But I feel like there's some things that are going to happen and take place 
there's a strong transition in this connection that is happening here. But I feel like fate, destiny has a bigger hand in this connection than you actually realize is what it's saying, right? Because I'm seeing a change of events or a turn of events that is happening for the both of you. Let's see. What are the messages is meant to hear during this reading? I feel like there's going to be some spoken truths, some things revealed. And this is what this moon does. The full moon in Scorpio is about things being revealed, a lot of secrets, right? And this moon energy is about new beginnings, things happening here. Um, the energy too is about, um, so this side we have um, unexpected money. And then on this side, we have meetings. Um, but let me finish my thought process. But this full moon is about new beginnings. It's definitely about revealing things uh, when we have the pink moon or the full moon in Scorpio, especially while Aquarius is still in Pluto. This is a very transformative situation that is taking place for you in your chart, Aquarius. I feel like someone is going to reveal something to you very, 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 very soon, Aquarius. Um, I feel like that communication is going to involve wanting to connect, wanting to meet, wanting to see you, Aquarius. Now, unexpected money is, for some of you, meaning just that, receiving unexpected money right now in your life. But this energy also means unexpected things happening to you, something that is valuable to you. So I feel like for some of you here, this is about meeting someone and it could be very unexpected, okay? But I feel like you are going to be, yep, look at this, grief and adver adversity, so someone that is really and truly thinking very heavily about something that is bothering them with this connection ship, um, something is strongly on their minds. And then we have the hands of fate, the forces beyond your control intervene. Uh, behind this person, there's like this angel uh, sitting behind this person, but this person is not aware of that. So I feel like there's stronger forces that is being involved in your person's life here, Aquarius. And we're actually going to spy and see. Yep, there it is. Main person. So this person is thinking about someone that they consider to be their main person. And it's about connecting with you, Aquarius, here, or discussing something about meeting up with you, talking with you. This person's undergoing a very huge transition in their life. And I mean big. Um, and I feel like this person feels like at this time, the only person they can trust is you. If there's some changes that is happening, Aquarius. And these changes, Aquarius, might be something of your doing. Keep in mind, we are air, right? So this, this winds of change energy, when I looked at it, I'm just seeing that your energy is taking over. It's like a force of power, right? This is like a change in the wind. So a force, a very strong force in your power, Aquarius, is shifting the energy of this person in some way, shape, or form. This person's really undergoing something, but whatever it is that this person is undergoing, it's making this person feel like they need to express some things, confess some things, you know, or coming clean about some things. This is about revealing things. It could even be just as simple as how they truly feel, right? So we have the seven of cups. We're, we're seeing what's going on with your person. Bottom of the deck is the nine of wands with the seven of cups. Okay, so this person's feeling like they need to make a decision. They need to make a choice at the end of the day. It could be very hard for this person because there's a lot that's going on in their life. I feel like this is someone here that is going through it. Like if we are talking about your person directly, it's about them going through it. Something about feeling very hurt, um, even trying again. So I feel like it is it has a lot to do with confusion could have blindsided this person or made this person in the past make many different uh, choices that may have not been you, Aquarius. Okay, but this person has made some very bad decisions or at least needed to go through these things to figure out what it is that they truly want at the end of the day. And I feel like this person's tired. And what I'm hearing is it's like they're tired of trying. 
right? They're tired of trying with the wrong people is the message here. So I feel like this is someone who's tired, who's exhausted, um, and now coming into some form of realization and wanting some sort of beginning here. Yep, there it is. Realization of wanting some sort of beginning here with you. Bottom of the deck is the seven, um, five of swords. This could be someone that you gave up on Aquarius. And I feel like at the time, this person was either playing mind games with you or, you know, just not doing right by you in some way, shape or form Aquarius here. And I feel like your energy was like, fuck around and find out. And that's exactly what happened. I feel like they found out that, you know, you are just not the one to play with. Go play, go play with your mammy. <laughs> go play, go play with your mammy, go play in traffic, but don't play with me right is the message that i'm getting i feel like you gave up or you walked away because you just was tired of the games that came with this person and this person may have in that moment thought that they were on their high horse or thought that they were winning but in reality aquarius that's not the case i feel like this person um, is now getting a sip of their own message this moon is definitely especially uh pluto being in aquarius is making this person undergo a strong transformative um, situation, okay, in their energy. So let's see what else. Yep. So we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from this Aquarius. You gave up on the situation with this person. Let's see. Show me more. I feel like emotionally, Aquarius, you checked out. And it had a lot to do with how this person was in the connection. And I feel like you tried to tried to make it work sometimes, but it just wasn't it wasn't doing it for you anymore. So you had to do what's best for you, Aquarius, by walking away from the situation. Let's see what that is. I feel like this person is returning. So being as though we have the Eight of Cups coming out with the Fool card, um, I feel like this the energy is like this person's coming back for some sort of fresh start, a new beginning. Aquarius. So something unexpected that is about to take place here for you with this two of cups. The energy of this person is about wanting to connect with you and realizing that, you know, you are their person. It, you know, the message I was hearing in the song was rather be with you and all your bullshit. I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Yeah, Aquarius, I feel like this person is that song is just stuck, okay? If it's up, then it's stuck. And I feel like this person is feeling like that. This fool energy is feeling like, making me feel like this person wants to be that for you. Look at the next card was the sun. It feels like this person wants to be that for you, Aquarius. We did have the sun. They're realizing that there's no one like you. I'm feeling like this person's realizing that you make them happy at the end of the day. So reveal what went wrong. What is transitioning this person to all of a sudden feel this way for Aquarius. Let me see. Reveal what went wrong. Why is this person all of a sudden feeling this way for Aquarius? Why is this person all of a sudden feeling this way for Aquarius? Give me one more. Why is this person all of a sudden feeling this way for Aquarius? Let's see what that is. Ooh. <laughs> three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? They're heartbroken. <clears throat> I feel like this person has been through a lot without you. Um, two of wands. I feel like this person is heartbroken and they feel like they made a, a lot of bad decisions when it came to, came to their future. I can't speak. I feel like they feel like they made a lot of bad decisions when it came to their future Aquarius and surrounding their heart at the end of the day. Um, I feel like this person has gone through a lot of um, spiritual enlightenment in their life and realizing um yep eight of swords i feel like this person has just made a lot of bad choices but it allowed this person to work on themselves i feel like this person spiritually has gone through something that is changing their energy and shifting their focus towards you and what they want out of this situation with you they can't deny that you have chemistry they can't deny the things that has transpired in the situation, but they had to undergo some changes without you in order to realize that 
you were it the whole time, right? I feel like at, in that moment, this person didn't deserve you, but is now realizing that they need to be what they need to be in, for you in order for you to accept them in some way, shape or form here, Aquarius, okay? So let's see what energies is coming through or what messages. We're going to use the astro. Yeah, cut the deck. We got first house, self. Ooh. Okay, Aquarius, I feel like their outlook on life has changed, right? Or they're undergoing a strong transformation in their life. And it has something to do with going through a lot of endings. A lot of endings happening for them over time that is making this person realize what it is that they truly had in a situation. This um, first house energy is definitely an energy about self-reflecting, right? And realizing what it is that is going to be best for you. It's actually an awakening for this person is what's undergoing here. Show me more about this person. Thank you. Ooh, didn't we just talk about this Aquarius Scorpio energy? Bottom of the deck, eight house. This is Scorpio energy, right? We are in this full moon of Scorpio and this energy is about revealing things. It's about secrets. It's about transformative energy. But the intensity of all of this is causing this to happen. And I feel like this is someone here who's being forced to dig deep and figure out what it is that they truly want out of life. Because if they don't figure it out soon, it's showing me that this is something that this person is going to truly for regret. All right, let's see. Give me one more from this deck. What is the energy? What is the energy? Show me the energy. Thank you. And then we have Taurus energy and bottom of the deck, fourth house. All right, so let's dive in Aquarius. I feel like the energy Aquarius is about being truly practical about life with this Taurus energy. I feel like this is someone here who is wanting to be loyal now. I feel like this is someone here who's wanting to show up for you in some way is what it's saying. Like truly wanting to dedicate time, energy into this situation with you, Aquarius, wanting to have some sort of strong ground with you, build with you here with this fourth house energy. This is representing family, home. This energy is representing wanting to take care of your foundation in some way and break old habits that may have been stopping you from achieving this this in some way, shape or form. Okay, so let's dive in deep, deeper and see what this person wants. Let's see, what is the message here? What is it that this person wants? We'll reveal the energy of this person. What is going on? Reveal the energy of this person. 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 We have protection. Mm. Then I tell you this person's love life is on a spiritual path. Like this person is going through a strong transformation. Hey Google, stop. Sorry about that. This person is going through a strong transformation. We have silence. It says your silence is very loud. Would rather be deaf just to see us speak again. So this is someone here you are not speaking with. There's definitely no contact here for you or very minimal contact in the situation. But this person doesn't like this. We have balance. It says balance is needing to be restored within this connection. And this is what I was talking about or I talk about so much in my readings. It's so important to undergo transformations because it allow people to grow without you sometimes. And that is needed, even though we don't like to be separated from the person we truly care about. Sometimes we have to realize you are your own individual, they are their own individual. And sometimes people need to undergo things to realize you know, how to treat people, how to love. Not everyone is you, right? So not everyone's going to love the way that you love you have to allow someone to realize this and realize what it is that they truly had in order to appreciate it and that could have a lot to do with a person's upbringing ego whatever the case may be right but they have to undergo these things in order to understand what is meant for them because sometimes god can send you a blessing and you just fuck it up 
right? And it could be something you truly pray for because you weren't ready for it. And this is why it's so important to be ready when these blessings are coming your way. Bottom of the deck is regret. I regret not loving you the way you deserve to be loved. And this is the energy I was feeling. I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Mm. I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Yeah, this is someone who is really, really realizing this about you Aquarius let's get um two more cards from this deck and then we're going to close out with some advice after we see what signs is coming through for you guys let's see what's the message here for Aquarius all right that one fell out let's see it says, I know how much I hurt you. So this person realizes that they hurt you. For some of you here, you may have undergone a divorce or maybe even going through a divorce because of this person, okay? And it could have a lot to do with commitment issues. Maybe this person was not very good at committing or this person wasn't trustworthy. They couldn't give you what you needed as far as commitment goes, okay? But I'm seeing here that either divorce is on the line or they're realizing divorce is on the line or you could have divorced this person. Um, for some of you, this means just separation. Like things just ended here or there's like a period of no contact. Let's see, give me one more. What's the energy? What's the energy? This person could be fearful that there's divorce or fearful that you're moving on. Okay, because at the bottom of the deck, we have my heart belongs to you and always will. So this person's fearful that you're moving on in the situation, but they realize that they hurt you and it's due to not being able to commit to you or give you the commitment that you desired in some way, shape or form. But I strongly feel like this is someone who wants to reconnect and try to figure things out with you, Aquarius. The com contact that I'm seeing that you're having with this person, it's going to be about you guys meeting or wanting to see you or feeling like they need to see you. This person has to see you or be in your presence. So something is definitely underway because they do want to have some sort of new beginning and they have some things that they want to express towards you. And for some of you, very strongly, I feel like this person's at some sort of distance from you as well. So let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice. What is the advice what is the advice you have for Aquarius in this connection all right this one's standing out oh it was two all right I thought that was the message let's see what's the message give me one what's the advice thank you all right so we have stars it says and then you had two actually you had stars and universe it says you can manifest your every wish in the universe. We're all just stardust. I strongly feel this is the second time we're seeing this hand with the universe energy. I feel like fate is intervening for you, Aquarius, with this person. So it's telling you here, you have you don't have to do a thing. Everything is coming into play the way that it's supposed to. I feel like Aquarius, like I said in the beginning, this wind of change is your energy. And it's telling me here, you don't even realize this, Aquarius, but your air energy is working double time for you you are so powerful you're a powerful being and don't even know it. you're manifesting but you're sending out gusts of wind to change the narrative of a situation here for you in your favor all right aquarius i love you guys to the moon and back ciao